Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be doing chapter 8, verse 27. And uh, here he's talking about how important it is to be Yoga Yukta. Always, always, whatever like that. It's been translated different by um, Prabhupada, of course. He's talked about devotion. Okay, so let's sing the verse together and we'll go into it. Naiti Sriti Partha Janan Yogi Mohyati Karchana Tasmat Sarveshu Kaleshu Yoga Yukto Bhavarjana Although the devotees know these two paths, O Arjun, they are never bewildered. Therefore, be fixed always in devotion. Now, here is where there is a little bit of a difference. So let's do word by word and I'll do the translation of Samyukananan. So, never these two Ethir Sriti, different paths, Partha, O son of Pratha. Um, I really love the way he talks to him, you know, Bhavarjuna. Uh, just become O Arjun uh, Pratha. So he's uh, addressing him twice very sweetly in this verse, Arjun. Um, Janan, even if he knows the yogi, the devotee of the Lord, the yogi, the one who was seeking union with God, Mohyati is bewildered. Um, even if he knows these two paths, never is the yogi bewildered. Kashchana, therefore, Tasmad, any, like always, sarva, sarva, sarva means all. So, sarveshu kaleshu, kal means time. So, at all times, always, yoga yukta, yoga be engaged in yoga. So, this is how he's translated. Basically, yoga yukta means being engaged in yoga. And Prabhupada is seeing from that highest peak and he's translating it by saying, be engaged in Krishna consciousness. Bhava just become. Okay, so always be engaged in yoga. Um, Sarveshu Kaleshu at all times. Therefore, um, yeah, so he's talking about chanting the Hare Krishna. And uh, they're never worried. People who know, people who are devotees are, are just never worried about any of these paths. When am I going to die on the path of light, that time of light, time of darkness? It doesn't matter because they're devotees of the Lord. And none of all of this matters at all. Um, so, uh, Yoga Yukta, yes, Yoga Yukta, who is always engaged in Yoga, which he's saying, Yoga means union with God, which means Krishna consciousness. Um, so, yeah, do everything, unattached in material affairs and do everything. So, this is the key, It'd be unattached and do everything for God. And he says the same thing. Okay, so let's do the translation. Yogis who know the secret of these two paths, O path, are never bewildered. Therefore, at all times, be situated in yoga, be engaged in yoga. Yoga Yukta. Okay. Um, the relentless souls, this is the, this made me so happy. The re, those relentless souls who strive for yoga or union with go, God are true yogis. They recognize themselves to be tiny fragments and his, of God and his eternal beatitude. They also recognize the temporary nature of the material world and the futili, futility of a materialistic life. Therefore, instead of running behind sensual pleasures, they endeavor to enhance their love for God. Such souls are on the path of light. So that's it. All you need to do is endeavor you do not need to get there you do not need to feel like oh i am already i'm not yet there i'm not whatever there means like you know there we know what there means but we, we do not need to be there right now we just need to have oh okay 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 <laughs> this this uh, mentor of mine she is uh, said something and i this has also taken my life by storms this is very important she said the Two things that are necessary for a devotee, for a person to become a pure devotee, is eagerness and eagerness and sincerity. That's it. You do not need to be perfect. All you need to do is have eagerness and sincerity. This is crucial. This is this is all that's needed. Just have the desire, that desire, you know, the desire is crucial. The desire, not for sense gratification, I want this money, I want this thing, I want this thing, but the desire for God, the desire for Krishna, eagerness, absolute eagerness, as much as you possibly can and have sincerity, this is in your hand. The results are not in your hand because that is, it's that pool that's with the serpent, a huge serpent. You cannot, you do not have the strength to get that serp, that poisonous, cloudy, murky serpent out of the pool of your mind and your heart, the, all of that uh, poison. You, you do not have the strength to do that, but you do have the 
you, what is in your control is the desire and eagerness and the rest you can leave to God and Krishna will take care of it. He has so much love for us. He is just looking at us. He is just continuously looking towards us and seeing when is this soul going to turn towards me. As soon as the soul turns towards me, I am going to start helping. That's it. So just have the desire and eagerness and, and you're golden. You're golden. Krishna will help. Krishna has causeless mercy. He'll help just because he'll help. He, he'll help because he loves. He loves so much. He loves us so much. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. We'll do chapter 8 verse 28 in the next video. Wish you a day filled with lots and lots of spiritual growth. Radhe, radhe.